I'm not sure if there's a moment that I became interested in acapella music, just given the fact that my father is an acapella singer. And doing acapella myself was a total accident, so that wasn't the intended path, but I'm in no way surprised that it has happened, just given that that's been my entire life. I can't do what my dad does. I'm not, I, I am not an improvisational scatter, so it's, it's still cool, you know. We, don't, we overlap, but we don't completely overlap. I didn't feel pressure to go into music. Given my family, it was definitely a natural decision. My parents have always been very encouraging of whatever I wanted to do. I felt more pressure in college after I did, there was all of a sudden people were like, your dad is the best vocalist on the planet. And that was weird. And especially because I was unaware of his influence in the music world. I definitely knew that he was a musician's musician, but I didn't really connect it. So that was, that was definitely interesting. I'm not sure if there was something that got me interested in looping in particular. After college, I asked for a loop pedal for a Christmas present and experimented a little bit. And I was almost hesitant to use it just because I had seen a lot of people using loop pedals and I thought that maybe it was overdone. Um, but I didn't intentionally be like, oh, I'm gonna be an acapella looper. I was just looping what I felt most comfortable with, which is my voice. So it just happened. <laughs> I would love to scream. I would definitely say the era of 45 has affected the inward versus outward writing process just because it's become that much more apparent that it's necessary to write not just from an inward perspective but an outside perspective um, which I think is one of the silver linings of this administration and um, something that I definitely realized when he got elected because I think a lot of really amazing art is going to come out of this era just as it did in the 60s and 70s um, because people feel a greater need to speak truth and I think artists have a really important role in doing that for the society and holding up a mirror to society. So the era of 45, I try and take that fear that he imparts on or attempts to impart on all of us and use it as an outlet of sorts. I think the most foundational wisdom that my father has imparted on me when it comes to the music industry is really sticking to my own instincts and being true to myself. He didn't really, he, he didn't like give me voice lessons growing up and he doesn't deal with a lot of the business end of things. Oh, he actively avoids it, so there was a lot of that that I, you know, I didn't get from him. But the main thing was definitely being true to yourself because he has always done that and has, you know, he's even turned down a lot of things that probably would have made him more money and more famous, so to speak. But he turned them down because they didn't align with his values and they, you know, took him away from his family. So having that example has been really formative in my own decision making about how I go about my career because sticking to yourself and being true to yourself is really really important particularly in this day and age where it seems like there is a big focus on 
stuff that's not real. So I'm trying to be as real as possible. <laughs> Good 